Okay, I think uh, one of the things uh, people fail to understand, including other star seeds, and uh, include other kin on that, is the concept of reincarnation. Uh, so now in a past life, I might have been a four and a half foot tall lizard, but this is who I am now. I am human just as human as everyone else. And that is one of the more annoying things within the Starseed community is claiming to be something other than human. Uh, you know, that causes a credibility problem for most of us. You know, it's like, dude, you are human. <laughs> no different than anybody else. Maybe you're suffering from an inferiority complex, which, considering uh, a lot of the shit we have to put up with, I can understand that. Another thing is uh, wrapping yourself around all this New Age uh, mysticism. The New Age uh, system is a trap, just like Christianity and the Abrahamic religions is just designed to catch the people who don't fall for the trap of uh, the organized religions, which, you know, New Age isn't, isn't organized religion. Seems like every year, without fail, somebody ends up selling all their shit spending all their money or giving it away because some preacher said the end of the world is going to come tomorrow and it never does. Then on the flip side you have bullshit artists like Jay-Z Knight who says that smoking cannabis puts holes in your aura. That's impossible. An aura is not something physical. You cannot put holes in something that's not physical. Alright, um... Hopefully you can't hear the sound of the drills over this microphone because uh, doing some construction work in the apartment upstairs. <laughs> oh god, of all the fucking timing. And this is why I put music in my videos. Well, one of the reasons. Well, on the uh, subject of bullshit artists, uh, one of my favorites is the Galactic Federation of Light. <laughs> Galactic Federation of Lies. Um, make these grandiose claims. Um, in the year October 24th, in the year 2008, we're gonna land our light ships on the White House lawn. On December 10th, 2008, we're going to take away the moon. Yeah, right. Of course, that never happens, and they make some bullshit excuse as to why. And if they didn't know anything about uh, physics, they'd realize that the reason why life on this planet exists the way it does is because the counterbalance of gravity that we get from the moon. Um, the moon was taken away. The Earth had become tidally locked with the sun, and one side would be 24 hours of day, the other side would be 24 hours of night, and no, we're not talking about the fucking Arctic, okay? The only place to be habitable would be in the twilight area. So, that's a bunch of bullshit right there. Um, also, the GFL, they love to use the image of the mother ships approaching Earth from the original V TV miniseries in the 80s. You know, the one about the, uh, the evil reptiles that uh, come to basically use humans as food? Okay, the Alpha Draconians, <laughs> for uh, all intents and purposes, you know. Yeah, they, they use that uh, for all their imagery. So, you know, 
The GFL is some real classy bullshit artists. Ascension! Oh, that's one of my favorites. It's not what people think it is. Um, yeah, it's going to happen probably within my lifetime when the people, the Earth, the earth humans, Terrans, do ascend from being a ass-backward, uh, you know, planetary civilization to an interplanetary interstellar civilization. That's the type of ascension that will be happening. But, as far as uh, 5D, no, okay, uh, we're not going to ascend beyond physical form. We are not Vorlons. That will not happen for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of generations from now, when these people are ready for that, okay? People are still fighting and killing each other off of bullshit like skin color, and religion, and sexual orientation, alright? Now, if 99.5% of the planet are not ready for that, and they do it anyways, what do you think is going to happen? Or, oh, I love the, this one. We're just going to move everybody who doesn't choose to ascend onto another planet in the third density. And it's density, not dimension. Bullshit, that's not going to happen. Okay? Um, it's funny to keep moving these so-called ascension date up when it doesn't happen. First is supposed to be uh, 2012. Then 2014, then 2015, and now they're looking at 2017 as the ascension date. My guess, 2017 is going to come, it's going to go, and it's going to be 2019, 2022. It ain't going to happen. Channelers. What can I say about channelers? Now, I'm not going to say that all of them are bullshit artists. Um... It's whatever it is they're channeling that I don't trust. Um, but there are some fakers. Um, here's a great example. Greetings, Space Brothers! I'm Mashar of the Pleiades! Do you have questions? Yeah, Bashar, if I jump off the top of a 10-story building, will I die? As you ascend and the acceleration becomes faster and faster, your heart rate will increase dramatically and you will most likely suffer from cardiac arrest before your body hits the ground and goes splat. That is, of course, your physical form, which is only finite, but the essence of who you are, your soul, shall you speak, that cannot be destroyed, so therefore, only your physical form will be deceased, as your auric form exists into infinity. Does that answer your question? Yes? No? The reason I call him bullshit on that, for one thing, never gives a straight answer. On anything, he's always vague. Uh, another thing is it takes him like 15 minutes to answer a simple yes and no question and he charges 200 bucks for uh, his session so I call bullshit on Bashar another one of my favorites we Pleiadians choose to reincarnate in human form Pleiadians are human and, yes, Pleiadians are human, because everybody's had a contact with them, basically described, rather attractive-looking humans. You know, Billy Meyer, etc. And, uh, not only that, they originated from here. Alternatives 2 and 3 is not a new concept. If you look at uh, Atlantis... 
which was destroyed about 10,000 years ago by using something a bit more powerful than nukes. Um, the survivors did uh, two things. Actually, there were three sets of survivors. Um, the ones on the surface got knocked back to the Stone Age. That's where we get our ancestors. One group went underground. Another group took off into space. Um, well, if you look at the, those two, um, the alabaster white skin, platinum blonde hair, pale blue eyes, okay, it's basically albinoism, is a result of thousands of generations of being uh, devoid of sunlight. That's where you get that complexion. And that's where you also get uh, the inner earth people. Coincidentally, look almost exactly like the description of Pleiadians. Okay, love and light, love and light. And yes, we're just gonna send uh, the Illuminati love and light, and everything is going to be fine. And you can love and light all the way to a FEMA camp. And one thing that as a reptilian starseed, one thing that really fucking irritates me is uh, all this uh, racism amongst the starseed community. You know, human race is composed of 22 different uh, ET races. Let me refer to that, the Earth humans, and really look at it, Earth humans aren't entirely human, but that's a different subject, but we are composed of 22 different races, including a few reptilian ones, alright? Um, basically, uh, how it works is whatever you're genetically compatible with the most is what you resonate with the most, okay? So, you know, you claim a love and light on one side, and you show nothing but hatred towards an entire nomenclature and part of whom do compose the human race. Humans are part reptilian. Um, you can see that in utero. Alright. Goes through the entire evolutionary process in utero. So, uh, you know, I call bullshit on that. Oh, uh, by the way, that cute little adorable, uh, fluffy house cat? Guess what? It's part reptile. Compare a domesticated house cat to a large feral cat. Feral cat has got round eyes. Domesticated house cat has got slit eyes, just like a reptile. Your feral cat, when it gets pissed off, it growls. House cat, it hisses. Just like a reptile. Okay? So, uh, next time, all you reptilophobes, uh, you know, oh, I hate all reptilians. Take a closer look at Fluffy. Okay, back to my original point. Um, and somebody responded to one of my videos and saying, if you're a reptilian, prove it. Okay. What part of reincarnation do you not understand? What I was in a past life is not what I am now. I don't understand why it's so difficult to understand. It could have something to do with the uh, oodles of uh, star seeds and other kin who over the years claimed to be something other than human. Okay, that is apparently false. It might have been something other than human in the past life. Or a variation of human in a past life. But in this current life, I'm human, you're human, we're human, so fucking get over it. Then again, 
there are plenty of things that are worse than uh, being a reptilian. Oh god, I hope I don't have to eat shit to my skin. Basically what I'm saying, in a nutshell, is use your intuition and use common sense. Um, you know, don't fall for any candy-coated feel-good thing. You know, that's wishful thinking. Um, you know, like I said, use your own uh, bullshit detectors. You know, the world, you don't believe in any doom and gloom at, you know, at the same time. You know, don't uh, put any energy into fear form, because most of that's bullshit. Uh, trust your own intuition. Well, uh, this is Tomas. Until next time, c'est la vie.